darn it this is going up to youtube here okay uh there's been uh, a lot of updates with uh, apple and mac uh with the ios 5 which has been updated today along with mac os x 10.7.2 um, the update will allow for the uh, the iCloud, among other things. Um, the iCloud is now um, pretty much um, activated for uh, all the services. And uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago, iTunes was updated for the iCloud as well. And uh, also for developers, the Xcode 4.2 uh, to take advantage of the iOS 5 and... Uh, the cloud and uh, all that neat stuff so uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my um, you know my thoughts on iOS 5 now um, I didn't come back to about 4 p.m. in the afternoon so you know um, so it was already out so I went ahead and updated uh, I updated my iPhone 4 uh, my iPad 2 and uh, my main computer, which is the Mac Pro, uh, which was the update uh, 10.7.2. Um, pretty much everything went smoothly. The download was fairly fast. Uh, unfortunately, um, the iPad 2, um, while it was downloading, I left. And I figured I'd just come back and then you know, continue on. Uh, so when I came back, like 10 minutes later, there was an error message. Uh, I forgot what exactly it said. I gave her an error code. And so, um, it said I had to restore, so I tried to click on the, on the iPad, it wouldn't even respond, it wouldn't even turn on, uh, and I was like, oh. So I just clicked restore uh, in iTunes, and so it pretty much restored it, uh, restored it normally. So I figured, okay, I'll just have to, uh, you know, re-download it and start over again. So I went to iTunes and clicked on, you know, check for new... Um, firmware updates uh, for my iPad and it, and it showed no updates uh, needed 5.0 was the most recent on there so I guess what it did when it downloaded it, uh, and even though it didn't install correctly it restored from 5.0 already installed on my hard drive I guess in iTunes so uh, that was a little bit surprising so um, the, even the restore went uh, you know fairly decently uh, which is kind of surprised me. I figure I have to re-download it and, you know, start all over again. So, um, I was kind of impressed with that, even though I had a, initial problems. Uh, I kind of want to go uh, update on the iPhone 4S. Um, there's been a lot of things come out um, since the pre-order. Uh, amazingly enough, one million pre-orders have been sold. Uh, they're setting a new record. Um, I know AT&T, they had... Um, uh, 200,000, uh, uh, you know, pre uh, pre-orders. Uh, even today I heard the, uh, in Australia, I guess, Telstra sold out the, uh, iPhone 4S 64 gigabyte, which really surprised me because obviously that's going to be a lot more expensive than the, uh, the base 16 gig model. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was surprised with that. Um, Reviews have been coming out uh, a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, I think even before the um, the uh, the pre-order has been done, and uh, they they look fa uh, pretty favorable on the most part. Uh, and even some benchmarks have been out already. And surprisingly, the benchmarks uh, for the iPhone 4S uh, are pretty impressive, e even compared to. Um, some of the, the top of the line Android phones um, and uh, some of them even you know beat them out on benchmarks of course benchmarks you can't take with a grain of salt because you know it depends on uh, how you do it uh, do the test and, and many other things but considering it at least it's on par with some of the uh, high-end Android phones is very surprising considering it's using an underclocked A5 processor it's not running at the full 1 gigahertz speed it's actually underclocked by um, 200 megahertz uh, I'm guessing they probably do this for battery life uh, make the battery last a little bit longer that but that's my guess and it's not using a one gig of RAM it's only has uh, five uh, I believe it just has uh, 512 megabytes from all we can tell um, we'll probably know more about that once uh, some of the parts break down uh, I know I think uh, 
uh, uh, you know, there's websites that break down the iPhone and tell you all the parts. So we'll probably see that then. But I think it's still pretty much uh, 512 megabytes uh, for that. And uh, let me go ahead and get back on Brad because we're going to talk about um, everybody's experience with the uh, this new update. <laughs> 